Finding the money to cover the high cost of training our Olympic athletes is getting harder and harder all the time. Joining us to discuss this topic is Stephen Brunn from our Sportsnet studios in Toronto. Now, Stephen, I'm going to start with this. Where does most of the funding come from right now? Uh, for most athletes, Olympic athletes, elite athletes in this country, they receive carding money, so kind of basic expenses from the government, the federal government, depending on what level they're at. They're the better athletes the, with more chances of winning get more money. Um, some of them get own the podium money, which is also government money, uh, again, directed at winning medals in the Olympic Games. And then some the odd athlete, some of these athletes have private sponsors from sometimes big corporate sponsors, sometimes a little business in their hometown. So that's the bulk of it. That's where most of it comes from. Well, tell us about B210. Who founded it and why? Yeah, B210 is a really interesting organization. It's founded by a guy in your town, J.D. Miller, a very successful guy in the business world. And uh, it is designed to augment that government funding and to deliver medals, to give the high performance athletes with the best chance of winning the little extra things that they need. Uh, B210 operates on business principles. It is, um, it's very results oriented. Uh, it requires the athletes to buy into what they're doing. But if they find the right mix, the right athletes um, with the right talents, the right abilities, B210 will jump in and fill those gaps and do things that you know, will help them get to the podium. Oh, money being the biggest thing there. But how does B210 work in terms of helping the athletes and how, how has it been successful so far? It's been very successful so far. You know, Vancouver, uh, they had 14 athletes in Vancouver and I think, or, 17 athletes and won 12 medals, I think is, was the counter, 14 and 12. So hugely successful in terms of results. And, but they, they do all kinds of things for those athletes. They can get them special coaching if they need it. They can provide special medical and therapy situations if they need it, for, especially for athletes recovering from injuries. Um, they've helped athletes deal with uh, transportation issues, help them find a car, help them find a place to live, uh, help them manage their schedules. So everything from you know, straight sports coaching and uh, sports therapy right down to things that help an athlete through their daily life and give them a better chance to concentrate and focus on the task at hand. What do you think, you know, personally, you, Stephen, what do you think is, is missing the most uh, to make our athletes better? Well, you know, money equals medals. I, it's, I know people, that that's, doesn't sound very romantic, but it's true. You know, you have to have all of that, all of the resources necessary to compete with uh, athletes from other parts of the world who have tremendous resources. So all of the, you have to have cutting edge uh, equipment. You have to have cutting edge coaching and physical therapy. You have to have the best sports medicine in the world. And all of those things add up. All of those things cost a lot of money. And again, you know, there's the government money, but that's where B210 really comes in. All right. Thank you very much, Stephen, for your insight on this. We'll see you next week. See you, Wilder.